everyone, it's Dahlia back again. Today I have a doll review of Sherilyn Meyer from the Rainbow High Doll series. Um, she is inspired by Cher from Clueless, which is really cool. I got her from my Facebook haul, uh, Facebook Marketplace haul. So check out the video if you haven't because it's a fun one. So today we're just going to do a review, talk about what she comes with, how I feel about her, and do outfit swaps as we always do in my videos. Let's go. This is everything that she comes with. I am missing one of the earrings. Um, since she is a secondhand doll, uh, this was something that they didn't have to give me. So I do have the one, that's what it looks like. It says RH for rainbow high with little pearls and a big pearl off of the bottom. I'm not going to put that one on because it would look a little silly with just one earring. This is her up close. So she has a headband here that matches um, that earring as far as being gold and written in pearls. It says rainbow. Her makeup matches, so it's a yellow shadow with a little bit of brown and some gold on top of that. She has darker brows on the edge that fade inward with little fake hairs. She has a very light blushing. Her lips are sort of kind of like a light plum color with a little bit of shimmer on there or gloss. And she has a lip liner on her lips. Now I know there are different versions of Cheryl, different faces. I can't really, or I guess I have a hard time telling them apart. So I don't know, you let me know which Cheryl you think I have because there are some variations on her makeup. Her look is very much yellow, yellow gold. She is definitely the yellow member of the rainbow. Her hair is very bright, um, like a golden yellow. For me, I don't really love her hair color. I have seen people tone it and I think that looks a little more natural. Um, but yeah, her hair is very pretty. I did go ahead and condition it and brush it and make it nicer than when I received her second hand. Um, she did lose a little bit of that curl. So normally her hair does have more curls. Her outfit here, she's got this little blazer jacket. It's made of a cotton woven fabric. I like that, you know, I hate when doll brands use just all polyester and stuff. It's got some really cute little golden buttons here that say RH for Rainbow High. I really enjoy the style of the blazer. It's fitted, so um, like around the back here, you can see it's like a nice fitted, it tucks in at the waist and flares out a little bit towards the hips. And it's got the little collar. I don't love yellow as a color in general. It's really not my color. So I'd love it a lot more if it was in a different color like blue or pink, but she is the yellow doll, so it's in yellow. But anyway, like the sewing pattern of this jacket, I just absolutely adore. The top on underneath is a short sleeve shirt that says rainbow and it's got a little um, border around there. It's kind of a crop top. It goes about to her waist. The dress is also a yellow plaid, but a different plaid. It is a strapless dress, so you can see it um, is sort of like almost like a tube top style on top, and then this flared skirt is sewn onto it with another little um, pleated checkered skirt underneath there. So it very much has, you know, a schoolgirl pleated skirt look to it, and of course is very similar to her inspiration, Cher from the movie Clueless. The little belt here has a belt buckle. Um, it says rainbow with this little gold detail. It does Velcro in the back, which is nice because it's easy to get on and off and easy to put on your other dolls and switch their clothes around. I like that the fabric is real cotton woven material. Now mine is fraying a little in the back here. You can see the raw edge did not get cut or did not get under that top stitching. So it's just been exposed and fraying. I can fix that real easy just by hand sewing it in. I'm not worried about it, but it is just something to note. Her socks are really similar to Bella's. In fact, I'm positive they're the exact same socks, but um, that's what Cher in the movie wears. And of course that's what was popular in the mid nineties when that movie was released. Her shoes here, um, they are a very bright yellow gold like her hair. This is, uh, the straps have little gold details and they're muted, kind of orangey gold color. There's black soles on the bottom. Overall, I like them a lot. I think they're very cute and will fit well with her outfits, uh, with her other outfits too, I mean. She has a white blouse here. This is made through a um, kind of see-through gauzy type white material. And then the collar is made of like a fake sandy material, as are the cuffs. 
I like it's got little buttons down the front placket. You can see the style, it flares out a little bit because it's meant to be worn under the sweater vest. Very, very much 90s style. I mean, in the 90s, like I was young, I loved the movie Clueless, it was so funny. And I can tell you wearing like a button up under a vest, that was the peak of fashion. Anyway, so that's her second outfit. And then she's got this little skirt to wear with it. Um, it's like a gold, a white, and a black, so pretty high contrast there. It's also pleated, as is the skirt that she comes with. Here's her second pair of shoes. So th these are a more muted yellow, as you can see, compared to her regular pair. So more of a plain yellow, honestly, more of like daisies yellow is what I would say. Um, they have a little white strap that ends in a bow and a little pretend pearl on the bottom here or on the back that says RH for Rainbow High. And the soles are actually brown. I know it's a little hard to tell, but they are. And here's just the boring stuff, the stand, the hangers, the comb. Now, I have to admit, I'm not in love with this doll. Um, it's funny because I did love the movie Clueless growing up, but for some reason, I'm just not connecting with Cher, and I know I'm not the only one. So I might dye her hair, I might do some light customization on her. I'm not really sure, I haven't decided yet. But uh, yeah, let me know if you connect with her, if there's something you tried. I don't know, for some reason, me and this doll, there's just... I feel like I'd kind of just want to sell her and buy a different doll with the money, but that makes me feel guilty. <laughs> anyway, let's do some clothing swaps. Here she is in that lovely stock outfit that she came with. I put the earring on that ear and covered up the other ear, so, you know, you could at least kind of see how it looks on. We'll just pretend there's one in the other ear there. Those really cute shoes. Um, those shoes have black soles and they keep marking up my background. So I'm not really happy about that. I had to use a pencil eraser and like get rid of all the black scuff marks, which is weird because no other shoe with black soles has done that. Um, but shares seem to do it really badly. Anyway, she looks cute in this outfit. I love this blazer and this jacket. I was putting this second outfit on Cher and then I noticed this little hole here. Uh, I'm kind of thinking the original owner might have caused that when they were cutting like the little plastic tags out. This is coming apart too, but that's not really a big deal. I can sew this, but that whole not really repairable where it is. Oh well, I mean, I'll style it so we don't see it, but kind of a bummer. Here is her other stock outfit. I actually like this outfit so much better. The sheer shirt really has a lot of mixability. The sweater vest is so sweet. I like the colors actually on this outfit. I think it's okay in yellow. Would I like it maybe purple better or something? Sure, but that's just me. But um, yeah, I can accept it in yellow. <laughs> but anyway, I think this this outfit is really cute. Like the, the A-line cut of the skirt with the shirt mixing with her hair color actually looks pretty good. I, I'm feeling her a lot more in this outfit. I think this look came out really good. I took her white shirt that she comes with and put it on backwards and kind of did a um, like a drop on the shoulder there. And we've got Georgia's other items here, the top, the pants, Bella's shoes. I think they look good with this kind of pink tone outfit. This is actually making me think, wow, I really want to tone Cher's hair in a pink and uh, like a pink peachy type color. I just love doing the off the shoulder with this white shirt. I mean, isn't that great? I wish I had a gold necklace. I do not have a gold necklace in my collection, but if I did, she would be wearing it. Perhaps a uh, clueless Cher would have worn this to a formal dance at her school. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is Aisha's uh, performance dress with the pretty silver sequins and the feathers, faux feathers, I might add, in a two-piece. It also has little shorts under the skirt, which I think is so cute. And then I've just got Cher's hair and a little updo with a braid. And she's holding that train with a clear rubber band, which is just a nice little trick for when you pose your dolls. I love these shoes too of Aisha's. They're so reusable because they're silver and white, so they really go with anything. I think Cher looks adorable and so sweet in this dress. Very beautiful. Oh, I legit love her in this look. So cute. Um, well, she's got Zoe's phone, Daphne's skirt, the shirt and the little shoes actually belong to Slumber Party Robin. 
but they really go well just as casual wear too, which is definitely one of the reasons that I like her outfits because it's not just like the slumberwear look. But yeah, I think this um, minty green, blue, and white, they go really good with her. And she's so cute in her little pigtails here taking a selfie. So I took Aisha's lipstick and uh, put it as if Cher is using it. It's kind of actually a similar color, huh? But she's got Aisha's little compact there. So she's just, you know, doing her makeup here. I love the little accessories with them. I think it's super fun to pose them with them. And I tried to go for a real 90s look for Sherilyn here. So kind of like silver, shiny metallics, the shirt tied around her waist. And I wouldn't say these shoes were particularly 90s, but they go with the kind of silver theme. Love those. Aisha's also. So although Cher is gold themed, I gave her a more uh, 90s silver space alien sort of look here. Oh, maybe I should try this on Zoe actually. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you enjoyed my video. Let me know what you think of Sherilyn. If you love her, if you did something to make um, your share more unique as I'm thinking about doing. Thank you so much for watching.